This week I'm doing something I've always wanted to do, a self-guided Eastern Oregon mule deer hunt. We're gonna try to get two mule deer down in a week. Let's get her done. This is the, up the steepest country I know. They call it Hell's Canyon for a reason. It is ultra steep, a lot of rocks. We just have to try it all and find out where they're hiding. Right there, kill them. Not only is there one shooter buck, but there is two shooter bucks. Holy crap, get down. Go get a hold of yourself. The world's trying to tell you down. I only go in for the kill. No, I don't mess around. This week I'm doing something I've always wanted to do, a self-guided Eastern Oregon mule deer hunt. I'm headed out with my good buddy John who knows this area like the back of his hand. We both drew a tag, so hopefully we'll both get a buck. I think I'm here. I'm at my buddy John's house. Um, we've been friends for like nine years. This is our first hunt together. He's got a tag as well and he knows this area like the back of his hand. I've been hunting out here 40 years probably. We've been trying a couple years to get her out here. She got a few points built up and she drew the tag luckily this year and so did I and we joined up and teamed out here to go find a big buck. I already sighted in my rifle before I came so I'm good there. Um, Those are your walking boots there? These are my walking boots. All right, be ready for walking. Oregon is tough hunting. It's public land hunt, it's draw tag, and it's not easy and that's what hunting's all about. It's day one of our muley hunt, and I am so excited to get out there. We head out before sunup, so we don't waste an ounce of light. Today is gonna be really tough. We're most likely gonna be hiking deep into the mountains, and unfortunately, I'm not in the best physical shape. I'm recovering from a fractured foot, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. All right, so we're gonna try to get two mule deer down in a week. Right now is the hardest time to hunt him, but he knows this area really well, so. I'm excited, this is my first mule deer hunt in Eastern Oregon. We've got about a four mile hike in. Let's get ready. <laughs> we have hunted Hell's Canyon on the Idaho side, looking over into Oregon, but now we're in the Oregon side of Hell's Canyon, looking into Idaho. It's the exact same country, it's really steep, and you definitely gotta make sure that you find a buck worth going after in these canyons. So we've hiked in four miles, and my body is not ready for this this morning. John and I are getting ready to go up the Pine Creek unit and we'll see what happens. I'm excited. John, he's a very tough man. His father passed away the day before this hunt started and he wanted to come out anyways. And I can't even imagine doing that. So for that, I'm very grateful for him for coming out and, and helping me on my hunt. We're about six miles in now. This is the, up the steepest country I know. They call it Hell's Canyon for a reason. It is ultra steep, a lot of rocks. We might be hunting anywhere from flatlands all the way to the highest peak. We just have to try it all and find out where they're hiding. We just got to our spot where we're gonna sit and see if some deer push through this ridge. This country's legit. It's not easy. It's not for beginners. Six miles is a long way in the mountain. You know, you can you can go six miles on flat ground every day of the week, but when it comes to hiking up a, a canyon or a hill, it's a little different of a story. Still not seeing anything. It's like nine miles in now. We're gonna hike out of here, hopefully see a buck on the way down. We're circling back around to get to home base, but we're gonna stop along the way to pick up John's Browning trail camera he has set up on a game trail. We'll take this back and see what's on it. 
hopefully we'll have better luck tonight. Got the bar of a lion, tooth of a tiger. We headed out again, but decided to take the buggy since it would be getting dark soon. Since the day I was born, I was a fighter. Unfortunately, we only saw a few dubs. End of day one, no luck, but I'm not worried yet because we still have four days left to hunt. We spot a buck. I'm freaking out. I grab my gun and we're taking off running trying to catch up to these bucks. Right there, kill. I hope I get a shot. The Most Wanted List is brought to you by Browning, the best there is. And by Browning Trail Cameras. You've got to see this. High Mountain Seasoning. Make your own jerky, sausage, smoked meats, and more. Power Bell Aerolites, the hardest hitting, most accurate muzzle loading bullets ever. B&W Trailer Hitches Tow and Stow, the last trailer hitch you'll ever need. Caldwell Stinger Shooting Rest, rock solid stability and an affordable platform. And by these awesome sponsors. It's day two of my Eastern Oregon mule deer hunt and yesterday we didn't spot anything but we did see a few nice bucks on John's Browning trail camera. So I'm really hopeful for today. Well, it is morning two. Gonna take some painkillers. I can tell I'm getting old. They always warned me about it when I was young. I didn't believe them, but I believe them now. I'm not really excited to hike today. <laughs> we got up bright and early, a couple hours before light. Got to the X on the map way before daylight and started hunting. Let's go hunting, baby. Of course, right as the sun comes up, it starts snowing. Just our luck. This is actually one of the hardest times to hunt Eastern Oregon. Um, the deer are not rutting. It's really hard to rain. There's a lot of hunters. It's public land, so you know you're fighting against everybody else. Let alone just being an Oregon hunt. And Eastern Oregon is hard enough as it is. So we need to get two deer down. I'm hoping that at least we get one, so, and that one being me, not John, because he comes here every year, so, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Let's get her done. We're hiking just as far and hard as we did yesterday, and still no luck. We have not seen a shooter buck yet. It kind of sucks because I've been hearing gunshots go off, which is really frustrating. It makes me want to go tackle their deer and be like, yeah, I got one. Oh, my calves. Oh, my lanta. We're actually going to do a little road hunting, um, see if we can see anything from a distance from the truck because it's a lot quieter and we've been able to spot a little bit more animals uh, that way. So as of now, the hiking like 20 miles has not worked for us. We spot a few more does through the trees as we're driving, so we pull over to get a better look. I love this scope, it's pretty sweet. Having good glass is very important. Well, does are not what we were after. It's getting late and we've driven around for a little bit and we still haven't seen anything. So we're gonna head back to camp and get on it first thing in the morning. All right, well, it's uh, day three and we are going at it a little bit different today. We're gonna go hike some deer trails. John's shot a lot of bucks out of here before, so we're gonna try to see if we can jump one this morning and hike the bucks off some more. We start out with the usual glassing, hiking, glassing, hiking. We get up to a vantage point and I spot a herd of elk. Elk everywhere. Look at all bulls. That is so cool. Six bulls. I cannot wait for elk to see them. Oh my gosh, my favorite thing done. Finally, after hiking a few more miles down the creek, we spot a buck. He just walked over the edge. 
I'm freaking out. I grab my gun and we're taking off running trying to catch up to these bucks. I hope I get a shot. Right there, kill him. I see him. It's day three of my Eastern Oregon mule deer hunt. Finally, we spot a buck. Right there, kill him. I see him. I get a good look at this buck, and unfortunately, he's a little smaller than I'm looking for. Do you see both of them? Let's go get bigger ones. Yeah. Bigger, not babies. I like your dying deer sound. <laughs> it's a bummer, but we have to move on. Are you there yet? I'm not kidding when I say we're hiking our butts off. It's the end of day three, we haven't seen anything. I'm starting to get concerned. It is morning four. Obviously, we still haven't got a deer yet. This has been a little bit of a rough few days. We're hiking all over and covering as much ground as physically possible on day four. Three more miles but we're still coming up empty-handed. It's a good looking stump. Once we hit that fourth day, I was like, you know what, I'm not feeling this. It's it's not looking so hot. I'm just wearing down. All the bucks are dead on me. I gotta pee. We walked daylight to dark, sometimes took lunches, but we just kept going and stayed in the woods. It seems like everywhere we are, there shooting all around us, but not anywhere close to us. So evidently we're at the wrong spot at the wrong time. Day four, we hike another 10 miles and we don't see anything. I'm a little bit frustrated. I was expecting to see at least a shooter buck by now. It's been four days. My body is not up to par and I'm getting really frustrated that we haven't seen a shooter buck yet. We've hiked probably over 35 miles in four days, but Tomorrow's the hardest mountain we're gonna climb. The toughest place there is to hunt. We picked the best towards the end of the hunt to do it. <laughs> that wasn't my idea, that was his. <laughs> we only have one day left. This is not looking good. It's day five, last day of our hunt. It is all or nothing now. I got word from my friend to go hunt this mountain, and John hadn't hunted this mountain in like 30 years. He didn't really want to go. Okay, so you're going to sit here and check, keep an eye on all this? Yep. All right, I'll take the radio. Okay. And so, me being my stubborn self, I'm going to go hunt this mountain. I'm going to find a buck. This is the last time I can feel that burning deep inside. Long day was we're all about wore out, and Christy wanted to push on a little farther. She wanted to look in that last mountain peak, and so she went for it, took a peek in there. We haven't had any luck finding any bucks over there. So I just feel like, let's go in here. We haven't hunted this spot yet. You never know what could be on the other side of the mountain. So we're hiking up this hill. We get to the top. We're just glassing. Within 10 seconds, Brady, my cameraman, spots a monster buck below us. He's moving up. Oh my gosh. 160 yards. Holy crap. Get down. Not only is there one shooter buck, but there is two shooter bucks. The other one's bending down. They're both shooters. I can't believe my luck. I'm like shaking. They're in a nasty canyon. Like, nasty. I have to drop them where they're at. I'm gonna get ready to shoot them. I just gotta make a clean shot now. The Most Wanted List is brought to you by Browning Ammo. Night Force. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. Record Rack. It's more than just deer feed. It's serious nutrition for serious results. Cowgirl Up. It's not a choice. It's a lifestyle. 
Bogpod. Versatility defined, accuracy anywhere. Outdoor Edge Knives, razor sharp and field proven to get the job done fast. And by Can Cooker, cater to your crowd. The Plano Field Locker, on the money. It's the last day of my Eastern Oregon mule deer hunt. And for the past four days, we haven't seen any shooter bucks. And suddenly, I spot not one, but two shooter bucks below me 160 yards away. He's moving up, oh my gosh. 160 yards, holy crap, get down. Not only is there one shooter buck, but there is two shooter bucks. One is behind a rock and we can barely see him. The other one is a four by four. So nice. And I kind of got my heart set on him, but before I decide what buck I want to shoot, I want to see this other one first. And all of a sudden, the other buck gets up and he is huge. He's a super wide three by three. And all I'm thinking is, where's John? Why isn't he here? Because we could get two bucks down at the same time on camera. I decide I'm going to take the 4x4. Four four. I had my heart set on him. He just looked so good, and that was the one that I wanted to take. Shit. He moved. Oh, he's right there. He's in the bush. So I lay down, I get set up, ready to roll. The buck is just quartering a little bit away. Oh my God. He gone. Oh my God. Don't go sliding. Of course, he rolls off of the rock and down the canyon. And he goes 200 freaking yards more down this canyon. That was crazy. He freaking rolled all the way down to the bottom of the canyon, of course. But we got a buck. This is the first time I've ever hunted this property. This is my first like by myself hunt. This terrain that we have been hiking in. It's absolutely insane. And now we've got to hike down there and get my buck. We have about 400 yards down this canyon to go. And when I say canyon, I'm talking Hell's Canyon. This is legit mountain. It's very scary. It is so steep. If you slip, you're going down, and there's no stopping you. This grass is not going to hold me up if I fall, but it's making me feel comfortable. Now, this is more like New Zealand. I'm not going to fall. Luckily, I had the right equipment, good shoes, and I was hiking down this canyon, and there's my buck right down in this big bush. I see my buck. And he is just awesome. He's a beautiful four by four, mature buck, probably four or five years old. I got my first do-it-yourself buck. Man, he's big. Nice deer. He didn't break off. That makes me so happy. Hi, hey, buddy. Thank you. He is a nice deer. <sighs> he almost had a little kicker. He's got good deep forks in the back. I was really certain I wasn't gonna get a buck this trip and I was actually, my hopes were kind of down. We had hunted hard. Um, this is the fifth day and it wasn't looking good this morning. All we'd seen are does. We never saw a shooter buck. I just had a feeling to come back in this area and my prayer was answered. Got her done here in Hell's Canyon. My first Oregon mule deer checked off my most wanted list. I couldn't be happier. Well, we got all day to get him to the top. It's going to take me about that. Oh, boy. He's a good deer, huh? Good deer. Nice 23, 24-inch mule deer. That's what we came for. He's a good dog. He's a good buck. <laughs> good buck. I heard the shots. I was one ridge over, just waiting to hear it. I knew I had to crawl in that hole to help her pack out. I'm glad I 
was there and wasn't there. I'd like to have been there to shoot the other buck, but I didn't want to pack two out of that hole. I love how sharp those knives are. Bully balls. Keep it out, dark girl. I'm trying. It's freaking longer than I am. Jeez, what are these for? Giraffes? Sock of a lifetime here. You know you love hunting with me. I'm just so much fun. It's always an adventure. Always. This is gonna suck. I crawled up the mountain to get this buck out of that canyon. I finally get to the top. I'm exhausted. And all I can think of is, holy crap, I did it. We hiked 50 miles in five days. I would not have been able to get that mule deer out of that canyon if it wasn't for the help of Grady, my cameraman, and John. We made it. I am so excited. I can't wait to show the girls. I checked off my first Oregon mule deer off my most wanted list. Check, 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 And I'm going, blah, blah, blah. Balls. I did not give him credit. Did you see a, a bee flew into my head? I said, riding with these cowboys this year. Why are you looking away? I can't look at that. <laughs>